Hey what is up guys, so I'm going to be teaching you how to get this awesome armor. It obviously, obviously if you've clicked on here you're looking for the heavy combat armor BOS style. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this in this video. Um, the time stamps in the description below so you can get to a certain part of the video that you'd like to. I'm going to start off by showing you how to get the plans to upgrade it to BOS. How to farm legendary heavy pieces, it's only going to be one star but it's still is still good armor but how to learn the mods you know for like ultra, ultra light light pocketed stuff like that and then i've got a little surprise at the end to do with the uh, the urban operative under armor i'm going to be showing you how to get the shielded so the reason i have the shielded is because it gives plus three strength plus two perspiration which obviously gives me a little bit more carry weight gives me a little bit more melee damage and then you combine it with all this, like, you know, the defense on this BOS combat armor is crazy. You get 55 on your standard, 45 on the next one. And it's just absolutely insane. Like, you can see my stats, 365, 379. But that is with some, um, some pretty strong perks. That's with, well, we can take this off, actually, and put um, Ironclad on. And then I've got Barbarian on, and now we're going to jump back in. 415, 429. That's how powerful this stuff is. So anyway, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so to get the BOS armor, well, to get the BOS plans, all you need to do is go up to this train station right here, the Grafton Station. You can get all three of them there. You know, the legs, the arms, and the chest. I'm going to show you some clips of me buying them. The first clip is me buying the chest. Unfortunately, I didn't record when I bought it out of the shop. But I do show you with the next two. It didn't take that long to get. It took me about 20 minutes of constant server hopping. So I'm going to show you some clips of me getting that right now. And then after that, I'll show you how to farm some heavy armor legendary pieces. Alright. So I did actually accidentally buy this before showing it in the shop, but I'll show the rest as I find them because I'm going through now. I think I jumped server five times to get this one, Plan BOS Combat Armor Chest Piece. So you can get you can get these relatively easy. But yeah, I didn't record it in the shop, so as soon as I find the next one, I'll show you. Just learn that. <laughs> Definitely learn that. BOS Combat Armor Arms. Let's go. Alright, so after me getting the chest piece, I think I'm probably hopped about another 10 servers to get this one, but you can see it there. You can get them from here. Obviously, you do need to do some server hopping though. But it is definitely, definitely worth it. It was actually a friend, well, a friend of a friend that told me about this. Like, he had all the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel combat armor, and I was like, yo, how did you get all that? It's like, <clears throat> um, I just got it from this train station. I was like, great, I'll check it out. Yeah, I've come and checked it out, you know, a couple of days later when I jumped back on the game. I'm so happy you told me about it. But anyway, let's find them legs. That's all I need now, just the legs, and we are good. Now, trading for supplies and yes! BOS combat armor legs. Boom. That is all the pieces. Let's go. Alright, so there you have it. That's how you get the plans to upgrade it to BOS. Now I'm going to show you how to farm some, you know, legendary heavy pieces. Alright, so to farm them, you need to do the event Monster Mash Versus. That's literally it. That's all you do. You might not get a, you might not get a piece every single time. But you will get pieces. It, even, like, get it might not even be legendary every time, but you will get pieces. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, I actually got the combat uh, heavy combat armor right arm as a reward for doing it. And then you get, like, another bonus on top. So I got the plus 10 damage and energy resistance if you are mutated combat armor left leg. But... My left leg is loads better, so I'm never going to use that. But just to show you, I'm going to click on it. It is your basic normal green one. Just your, like, you know, standard combat armor. But it is heavy. They're always going to be heavy. 
from this place. That's what I found anyway. There's two ways to do this. So you've got the first way, which is how I do it. I literally just, you have to grab the mask, get yourself at least one candy, and then just drop the mask so people can't attack you. And I just jump on this head, go and make myself a drink, you know, hoover up, do whatever I'm doing, go watch telly, and I'll just come back like every seven or eight minutes and just, you know, like push a button. And then that's it, go away, come back, go away, come back. I think you can do this three times and then after that you'll have to change server because it'll say event complete. I think you can play it three times until the event completes and then you'll have to switch server, start it again. But it's literally as simple as that. I'll show two more prizes and then we'll get on to the next part of the video. Smart choice. Please gather in the comments and wait for the next round of the monster mash to begin. If you have candy from the Unfortunately, round, I didn't get one that time, but like I said, you won't get one every prize. single time. That concludes the Monster Mash. Thank you. Heavy combat armor left leg. Students and volunteers who made the event possible. And left arm. Blend with, oh, I might actually really need this. Gifts and surprises. Have a safe and Where's my left arm? Halloween, yes. That is like the best piece I could have asked for. I just really wanted a chameleon one and it doesn't get rid of one of the ones that I wanted to keep. It replaces the one that I wanted to get rid of. I'm so glad I made this video. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Alright, so for the third and final thing about the combat armor. <clears throat> to learn all the... Alright, so for the third and final thing about the armor, um, to learn stuff like this, like the uh, lead line, light build, sleep, strength, and ultra light build, stuff like that, you need to keep, you need to craft the armor and break it, um, break it down, scrap it, basically. So what I did was, I got myself absolutely loads of materials, uh, light armor, combat armor, left arm, level 20, Wait, was it that one? Yeah, it must have been. Yeah. So, left arm. And I just crafted and crafted and crafted and crafted. And I, I crafted a total of about 200, 250 of these. By the time I was done, I'd got everything. Now, there is some stuff that's going to help you on top. Um, super duper. When, like, when crafting anything, you have a 30% chance of getting double. That does work with armor as well. So you're going to get double armor 30% of the time. It's really, really helpful. Um, armor are free. Now, if you just seen how much it costs to craft everything, you'll see it actually get reduced by quite a lot right now. Light armor, come on, left arm. See, now it's 8, 3, 5, and 3. Before it was like 10, 12, 11, or whatever. I don't know exactly, I'm just, I just—I know I've seen some that was like 11 and 13 you know, or whatever. So you want to get them two perks. You want to get armor level... Actually, you don't even need armor level 3. If we go on to it. Um, crafted armor... You, you need armor level 2 to get the uh, few materials. And then so I, I really highly recommend getting super duper to level 3. Like really, really do recommend that. And then, if you want to save even more materials, you can even go with... Where is it? Scrapper. So you want Armourer 2, Scrapper 1, because there's only one on it, and Super Duper 3. And it'll make it so you get more of your... St it costs less to, less to craft it, you get more of your materials back, and you have a chance to double it. When I did this with Leather Armors, I was actually making... I was earning materials from building stuff and then scrapping it because I had super duper and I was getting double every now and then I was actually making mats, I was earning mats which was brilliant but that was the third and final part on getting your BOS legendary just absolutely beasty armor it's insane honestly you've got to, you've got to get some it's so good now for the under armor I don't know about the rest, I don't really look for the rest because I found some stuff on Google and this way, this one is the best for me. But for the Aaron Operative Under Armour, to get the shielded version, I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to end the video. 
So I hope this really helped with your combat armor. If it did, hit that like button. Subscribe, you know, I'll, I'm going to be popping out some more Fallout 76 content because I'm really loving this game. If you've got any tips or any advice or anything on how I can improve on my videos, drop that down in the comments. If you have any questions, pop it down in the comments. Anything at all, pop it down in the comments. Also, in the description, you'll be able to find links to my Twitch where I'm streaming Fallout uh, 76 on a daily basis. My Discord for my YouTube community, I think there's about 200 people on it at the minute. Maybe just a little less, like between 180 and 200. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Conversion for this Under Armour, all you have to do is go to the White Spring Bunker. Uh, where the where the enclave is now you can see me here running through the shop and i'm you know going to open into the shop and i'm going to buy something but as you can see there's only protective lining right the reason that is it doesn't matter how many times you hop server it's going to be the same thing every single time so if you look here in my items you know in my inventory i'd already bought protective lining on the last server so I'm going to use that now, and now when I hop server and then go back in, it'll be strengthened. So whatever's there, you need to buy it. Then you hop server, go back, buy the next one, hop server, go back, buy the next one, hop server, go back, and strengthen will be there. It's going to cost you around 2k to 3k caps, but you're going to have a, you know, a permanent plus 3 strength, plus 2 perspiration boost, and a little bit more defense, only a tiny bit, it's like... 10 on each one with a little bit of rad resistance like nine or something but you know it lasts forever so that you know about two three k caps depending on your levels like what perks you've got and stuff like that is really really going to help you out in the long run the earlier you get this on the more beneficial it would be i think it's the best one i'm going to be sticking with that like forever to be fair i'm never going to take it off so like i said before guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one peace out